DNS filter is probably one of my favorite security profiles. There are so many things you can do with that. One of them is the DNS translation. Your DNS server will actually take a resolved IP address and replace it with another IP address. So in the case where a user tries to navigate to CNN.com or any other website, your DNS server will actually replace cnn.com with another IP address that you have chosen. So let's look at how we configure DNS translation. All right, before we enable our DNS filter, our translate DNS filter, let's just ping one of uh, the website that we wish to translate the resolved IP address. Let's ping Ynet COIL. All right, let's just stop that and let's copy the IP address. All right, now let's move back to our DNS filter. Let's create a new DNS filter. Let's name it translate and let's just enable the DNS translation and create a new DNS translation. Now the original destination is Ynet, that's the IP address and we'll actually replace it with Google's DNS uh, servers. Now let's add up the subnet mask, okay, and Let's just apply that to our policy. That's the full access policy. We're using a Ubuntu device and we'll actually ping one more time and we will see the results. Now let's apply the DNS filter. All right. Now let's move back to our Ubuntu device and there it is. Now let's just ping Ynet again. And there it is. You can see that once we have pinged Ynet without our DNS translate filter, it actually pinged Ynet's IP address. When we used our DNS translate filter, it actually pinged Google's DNS server. So the resolved IP as used also in our ping command has been translated to another IP address.